I'm Bill with PhotoFocus, and I just came back from the Out of Chicago Conference, hosted by Chris Smith. While I was at the conference, I had a chance to touch base with my good friend, Rick Salmon. Rick is going to share a story on how he captured some dynamic shots on Route 66. So relax, sit back, and enjoy a story from the set. Hey, man, Vanilli is always great to see Vanilli. A show wouldn't be a show without Vanilli. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're at the Out of Chicago workshop, uh, and it's really cool. I mean, we had to meet up. And cool. This is kind of the only time we can fit it in our yeah, schedule. Shows, yeah. We can get together and do stuff. So now, one of the stories you want to share with us, and I love following you on Facebook and all the adventures Same you here. and your wife you and your wife do, <laughs> yeah. and you were on Route 66. Oh, man. Have you ever done it? No, and that's, what, that's what's inspired Have you ever done me. it? No, and that's what's inspiring me to want to do it. No, you have to do it. What we did is we flew to uh, Albuquerque, and then we went east uh, to the Blue Swallow Motel, which is the, the iconic shot, and then we went all the way back uh, through Vegas, and we got so many incredible shots. It's really like going back in time, because there is no really route, official Route 66. There's what's called the historic Route 66, oh, gotcha. where uh, US 40 killed it. You know, is when they open that Route 66 die, but you get off and you go to these beautiful little towns, you know. And we went to this really cool place called the Wigwam Motel in Holbrook. And, uh, you know, I, got, I shoot in the morning, I shoot, you know, in the afternoon, I shoot at night. I like to go back to the same location over and over again. But as you know, if you're shooting like from inside to outside, like the picture that we're going to show here, uh, the best digital camera, the best uh, photographer in the world could not capture it. This is where HDR comes in. Oh, that's High right. dynamic so, range photography. So here's where a beginner or somebody just starting out with photography yeah. may just get frustrated. They come out, they take one shot, oh, it doesn't look that good. In your case, you had to apply an HDR mm -hmm. to get this type of look. So what did you do with that? Well, not only that, uh, Vanilli, my good friend Vanilli, you know, sometimes they get frustrated with the one shot but then they get, put the camera on HDR, you know, built in HDR, and they take zero plus two minus two or zero plus three minus three, and it still doesn't capture the dynamic range. So what I do is in an extreme contrast uh, uh, range like this, a dynamic range like this, where we could see inside, look at all the detail, know. you know, Incredible. deep into the shadows and nothing's overexposed outside. So in a situation like this, you really need to bracket. This is a seven stop exposure put together in Photomatics. And I used a Canon 5D Mark IV, had a 15 millimeter lens on a tripod in the back of this. I think it's an old uh, Studebaker. Wow. But notice this, not only can we see the detail, but we don't have any halos. And I think that's, you know, people say, oh, what oh, HDR program do you use and why? I say, I use Photomatics because I think, among other things, it does the best job of getting rid of the halos. Wow. So what you're really teaching us right here is, A, how to make sure you have a solid foundation as a photographer, right. you capture Com composition. Uh, the composition, and now you need to learn how to push your gear to 100% of its max. Well, and that's what you did here with the camera and with your software. Well, and it's all about you know getting you know, still the best in-camera exposures in this case. So a lot of people say, okay, I'm gonna do HDR. Rick says, okay, do seven stops. And they put it on zero exposure, EV exposure compensation. And then they shoot and they still might not capture the entire dynamic range. So in a case like this, where I didn't want any of the highlights blown out, I set my starting point for the automatic exposure bracketing gotcha. sequence at minus one. So what I'm doing is I'm checking my exposures so I could see into the shadows. And you can do this check on the histogram on your camera too. So the, the shadows aren't blocked up and the highlights aren't overexposed and washed out. And I say, you know, photomatics is great, but if you blow out the highlights, if you don't take enough pictures to capture that dynamic range in this, you're still not going to get the shot. Well, this would, well, you definitely inspired me to want to take a trip well, on Route 66. <laughs> well, so. it, it, is, it is really like going back in time, Vanilli. It's so much fun. You guys have to do it. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank I really you, man. appreciate you being here. You're the firmest handshake in the photo <laughs> industry. <laughs> well, I'm Vanilli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching.